Hi everybody, my name is Lori Gerzanich and I'm, I'm here today to talk to you about the squedge rulers. So this is a table runner that's done, it's a free pattern that comes with your squedge ruler, the 22.5 degree ruler. Uh, but you might ask, what is a squedge? So what is a squedge? You know, when you make a block with any wedge or triangle, you get a circle and you have to figure out how to put it into a block? Well, the squedge ruler has figured that all out for you. So your piece comes out in a square, you still get the circular bit, but it comes out in a square. And so you don't have to do any set in circles or applique your pieces onto a background. So in the store, we currently have the 22 degree squedge, 22.5 degree squedge, and the 18 degree squedge rulers. Each ruler comes with really good instructions and a free pattern. So this pattern, I did up this runner a few years ago now. And the 18 degree uh, ruler has this pattern. Now I started these blocks at 7.30 last night, so I didn't get the whole runner put together, but I did get my three blocks done. So there's lots of other patterns available on Philips Fiber Arts for the various squedge rulers. And another free pattern that they have, this one here, is this cute and easy table topper. And for quilting, I just stitched in the ditch around and uh, it's a cute spring runner. So. Have you ever wondered what to do with striped fabrics? You might have some in your stash or you see a stripe in the store and, and you think, oh, that's really kind of pretty. Well, the squedge ruler works great for stripes. Personally, I'm not a big stripe person, but I did put together this block with a strata. So I made my stripe You've probably heard that we've got a private Facebook group called Wish Upon a Star. And um, we had our first class on April 11th. And so I'll show you a couple samples of those blocks. So this is block one. And another of block one from Wish Upon a Star. And now I'm just going to move this out of the way and I'll do a, a demo and show you how quick and easy the ruler is to use. And uh, we will, I won't stitch, but we'll cut out and place one of the stars for Wish Upon a Star. Just give you a teaser of what you're missing out on. Okay, so when you're using the ruler, um, they suggest that you put on some glow line tape. It comes in a little package just like this. And it helps you keep track of what lines you're using for which cuts. So for this particular cut, we're going to line up our yellow 45 degree line. Our ruler is going to be face down. And we're going to cut up I'll move this out of the way. And you'll notice that the ruler comes off of the fabric here. So there are a couple of slots in the ruler and you're going to mark them and a Pigma pen works great for that. You're gonna take your ruler off and you're going to cut on those lines. And we want to make four of this piece. So I will quickly cut these. Another thing that they suggest that you use 
is um, some kind of no slip um, on your ruler. So something like this ruler magic works great. You put just a drop of it on your ruler and you run your finger around and it works awesome. Um, there are the, the no slip little dots that you can buy. Um, they work as well. And when you mark in the little slots here on the ruler for these partial blocks, we do some full blocks as well, but for these partial blocks, you want something with a long skinny tip on it. So, like I said, the Pigma pens work great. Um, your other uh, fabric pens will work as well, so long as, as you can get that tip down into the, the slot. And when you cut across here, you're cutting off just the tiniest bit of the corner of your main fabric. So that's our one color. Okay, so now this is our second piece. We're again using the yellow um, 45 degree line on the seam line. And we're cutting with our ruler facing up. And again, this is a partial uh, cut. So this is the third piece that we need to cut, and we're, this time we're cutting the full um, ruler. And so it tells you, lay your ruler with the 45 degree yellow line and the ruler facing down. And we cut four of those. So with the magic of TV, we've cut all our pieces. So this piece is a half block and it's cut with the, on the yellow 45 degree line and the words facing up. This is a full block, again cut on the same line and the words facing up. For the other side, we flip our ruler over so it's face down, cut on a full block on the yellow 45 and a partial block on the yellow 45. So we put all of these together and we will have a star. So sew them in pairs and I've, I usually sew them from the outside to the inside. You're going to end up with a hole in the middle of your block. So if it's going to be uneven, better it's uneven there and covered by your, your center dot. So let's just lay these out and get our star together. And uh, So 
So this is our block that um, we've put together. This is one of the Wish Upon a Star blocks. I won't tell you which one it is. It's not number two. We do a circle and of course when it's stitched this will cover up the center. And there we have another Wish Upon a Star block. So if I've piqued your interest, you aren't too late to join our secret squirrel group, Wish Upon a Star. Our next get together will be May the 9th at 1 p.m. And yes, that is Mother's Day, but what better way to spend Mother's Day than doing something you love? Can't make it for one o'clock? That's okay. The sessions are all recorded, so you can go back again and again as many times as you want and rewatch them sew a little bit, stop, go back, sew a little bit. But you can only do that if you're registered in the group. The session will run the second Sunday of the month right through to December 12th. So if you'd like to join us for Wish Upon a Star, you can register at lauriescountrycottage.com or give the store a call. You will be required to get a kit which contains these beautiful batiks and we'd love you to join us. So Again, these are some stars from Wish Upon a Star. This runner is the free pattern that comes with your 22.5 degree squedge ruler. This one is also a free pattern for your 22.5 degree squedge. And this block is from the free runner of the 18 degree squedge ruler. So I think that's all for me. Thank you for watching.